Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Windows 10 or Windows 11. A driver cannot load on this device. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. First of all, head over to your settings menu, choose Windows Update, scroll down and click on the option Advanced Options. Now here scroll down and you will find the option of optional updates. Click on it. And here under the driver update, expand it and check mark whatever the icons present over here and hit the option download and install to make sure your drivers are up to date, which is a major cause of the issue. A driver can't load on this device. If this doesn't fix, let's proceed with the second step. Right click on start menu and choose the option device manager. Here you need to explain the driver which is causing you the error. I'll give you an example of this unknown device. You can see there is a yellow triangle next to this unknown device which proves that this is the particular driver which is giving you the error. If it is not available, you need to explain each and every hardware present over here like I am showing right over here to you. Now after finding the problematic driver, hit right click and choose the option properties. Click on the driver tab. If rollback driver is option, choose the option rollback driver. And if it is not available, choose the option update driver. Click on the option search automatically for drivers and hit the close button after installing the drivers. Now, even after doing so, this doesn't fix, right click on your problematic driver and choose the option uninstall device to completely remove it from your system. Once it is removed, you will be able to fix out the issue with a driver cannot load on this device. If this method fails to work out, let's proceed with the next step. Click on the start menu and type Windows Security. Open Windows Security and from this left pane, you need to choose the option Device Security. Now here, click on the option Core Isolation Details. If memory integration is turned on, like this way, you need to turn it off. Once you turn it off, close it, go ahead, restart your PC and your problem will be fixed out regarding the issue of a driver cannot load on this device. So this is all about it friends. This is how you will fix out the issue. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.